Hi, my name is Leah Zayner. I'm here to lead you through a 10 minute everyday cardio circuit here at Get Healthy U TV. So all you need is a little bit of space, your own body, and a really quick warm up that we're gonna do right here before getting you into your cardio circuit. So all that you're gonna do to start is take a big breath up. As you exhale, sink down, bring it right back up two more times. Just getting that blood pumping, ready to go. And this time stay standing and just give yourself a couple alternating arm hugs. Open up that upper body. Give yourself four more. Try to reach a little further each time. Last one. And then take a couple upper body twists. Really rotate through that spine. Get your upper body nice and loose. We're gonna start with some movements in a circuit format. You're gonna add on every time you do a round. Three basic movements. We're gonna do three rounds. They're gonna change every time. I've got a timer I'm gonna be following, following along with. 50 seconds on, 20 seconds of rest in between everything. So go ahead, shake it out. Here we go. Starting with jumping jacks. Just your basic jumping jack. Feet are going out and in. Arms are reaching up, pulling down to your sides. You wanna think here about creating a big range of motion for your arms. So keep your fingertips reaching out nice and long. If you need to take the impact out here, you're going one foot at a time. Keeping it right here. Still keeping your energy right up to the ceiling. Keeping those arms big. If you're leaving that impact in, go right back out. Feet out and in. Letting that heart rate come up gradually. As we go through our rounds, we're gonna be adding on to this movement. But right now, we're starting out with this basic jumping jack. You gotta love them. They get it done every time. Coming up on that first 20 seconds of rest, I want you to make that a complete rest. So as soon as that timer goes off, we're gonna stop. Here it is, there's that beep. Whoo! Start to match your breathing, slow it down. Think in through your nose, out through your mouth. The next thing we're gonna get into are some squat jumps. So again, I'm gonna show you that basic movement, give you a low impact option, and you're gonna start to feel that heart rate come right back up. All right, here we go, feet go wide. You're gonna squat, tap the floor, and then jump up, reach for the ceiling. This is it, this is your basic movement. If you wanna take the impact out, you're just coming up to tiptoes. Every time you lift up out of that squat, lift your heels, reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Now, no matter what version you're using, you're focusing on keeping your gaze forward, your chest is lifted, your fingertips are only coming down because you're squatting so low, right? Try not to bow forward to tap the floor. That means you're recruiting all those muscles in your legs. Those are big muscle groups. When they're working hard, your heart rate has to come up. It's great cardio work. Great way to use your own body weight. Keep on going. You got about five more seconds. Here it is. Last one. Shake it out. 20 seconds of rest again. So I've got my water here. This is a great time to grab a little bit of water. Find that breath. We're coming down to the floor for the next movement. You're gonna come into a plank position. We're gonna start to build some mountain climbers. Here we go. Find that plank. Just bring your knees outside of your elbows. Now right here, this is plenty for some people. This gets that heart rate up. If you're feeling really, really strong and you wanna speed things up, bring your knees to the center and run it out. So this is feeling pretty good for me today. I like to keep this speed. It allows me to draw my abs in, start to focus on my core strength as well as my cardio. I'm pressing my hands into the floor. Again, if that impact is a little too much, your knees aren't feeling it, go right back. Opposite knee to the outside of the arm. Keeping those hips in line, maybe run it out. You can always try just a few seconds of each movement too. Always building it up, getting a little stronger every day. That's it. Bring yourself back up to standing. Another opportunity for you to get some water. Now, you can do that exact circuit three times and you'll have a great workout. But we're gonna add on a little bit every single time we go through. So we're gonna start back with those jumping jacks. Little change this time, so keep your eye out. Here we go. Instead of arms like this, you're gonna be reaching your arms right out in front of you. So what I want you to start thinking about is instead of flailing, and letting this kind of happen, you're really focusing on using the muscles in your back and shoulders to create that lifting motion up and up. 
reaching those arms right about to shoulder height. And again, if you're taking that impact out, think right and left, alternating your feet, keeping that heart rate going. You should be breathing hard. Find that whatever works for you, stick with it. You're almost to the end of this circuit right here. Got another 20 second rest coming up. Kick it up. Make us the strongest one yet. Here you go. Here comes that beep in just two seconds. That's it. Take your 20 second rest. Grab that water again. Feels good to drink some water in the middle of a workout, but not too much. You wanna keep yourself able to go. So this one, your squat jumps from before. If you wanna stick with those, go for it. If you wanna add on, we're going side to side. So start with those feet wide, tap. This time, you're jumping over and around. Whew. Right away, you should feel a little extra engagement in your inner and outer quads. You should feel a little bit more of a drive to push you side to side. Now, if you wanna take the impact out, think step through, step through. Still getting that lateral movement, still getting that big reach with your hands, like the shape of a rainbow, but you're taking out a little bit of the impact. Really good for those of you that are working through some knee issues, working through something with your ankles. You can take that impact out, still get that heart rate up. You got 10 seconds left. Find that movement, stick with it. Yes, you can, keep breathing. Three, two, one, rest. Shake it out a little bit. We're coming back to the floor next. So you're going back into that same plank position. Instead of mountain climbers, we're coming to a squat. So I'm actually gonna face you this time so you can kind of see what that squat looks like. I'm gonna find my plank position right about now. I'm gonna sink my hips down and I'm gonna lift myself right into a squat. Boom, I hit. Then I go right back to that plank. Boom, squat. Now when I come into that squat, I'm trying to keep my hips low and my chest lifted. If you want to take the impact out, all you're going to do is step your feet forward, sink into a squat, step your feet back. That takes that impact out, still lets you work all the way through that full body plank position, all the way into that squat. This is a good hip opener. You should be burning through full body here. Woo, that heart rate is coming up. Almost to that 20 second rest. You can make it through, keep going. Find that deepest squat. You got time for one last one. There it is, roll yourself up. Going into that last round, grab yourself a little bit of water. Going back to jumping jacks, a little different variation. All right, once you have that water, find your standing position. Take another big deep breath in, big exhale. Jumping jacks. So once again, you can stay here, or if you're adding on with us, think about imaginary dumbbells in your hands. Pressing those arms up to the ceiling. Think up and up. And again, you have that same option. Out, in, out, in. This takes out that extra impact. You gotta keep on pushing through. If you need to catch your breath, do a couple of these right here, and then go right back into it. Feet go out, in, arms up, down. Imagine you've got dumbbells. If you're feeling really crazy, you can even add some dumbbells. But you wanna make sure, again, that you're not flailing. You're actually pressing those arms up with strength, with intensity, with intention. Almost through. Keep it going. Keep pushing. You got it, that's it. 20 seconds of rest. You got those frog jumps. This time you're moving forward and back instead of side to side. So find that nice wide squat position. You're gonna try and tap your fingertips to the floor, forward and back. Three seconds, big breath, here we go. Squat, jump forward, squat, jump back. This is gonna be your basic movement. If you wanna stay here, keep it going. If you need to take that impact out, step, step, squat, step, step, squat. If you're doing this, Remember to alternate which leg leads so that you're not getting any kind of imbalance. You're always working equally side to side. Now, if that is even too much, you go right back, whoop, that squat, lift up. Big energy at the top, but you're trying to find that energy through your lower body to drive you forward and back. 
Every difference in the movement activates your muscles a little bit more differently. So you got three more seconds. That's it. Last one. Go ahead, shake it out. You can't get away from them. You know how to end a cardio routine. We've got some burpees coming up. I'm gonna give you a couple different variations to use. Stick with what works best for you. Stick with what impact level you need. This is where you finish. You got about 50 seconds of work. Here it is. Burpees, hands down, feet back, in and jump. This is your basic burpee. You wanna stick with this, or we're gonna start to take out that impact. Hands down, step one foot back at a time, one foot in, lift up and reach. Again, if you're doing this option, you're alternating which leg leads and coming back up. Now, if you're feeling like you need a little bit of extra stuff, you can bring your knees up. Finding that tuck jump, woo, at the end of every burpee. This is where you're gonna finish. So find whatever energy level you can kick it into. Finish strong, keep that breath. You've got five seconds left. You can make it through. Last one. Yes. Give yourselves a round of applause. Shake it out. We're just gonna do one little quick cool down. All you're gonna do is clasp your palms, reach them up to the ceiling, and slow down your breathing. Once you've found a little bit of more control, you're gonna release your hands as though you're reaching your fingertips in opposite directions all the way behind you. Go ahead and clasp your palms. Walk your feet wide. If you need to, use a towel. You're gonna lift your arms up as you sink down. You're gonna find a little stretch here for the backs of your legs. Upper body stretching. And then release your fingertips. Let your knees bend and let your body just hinge forward. And then begin to roll yourself up. That sweat should be coming. Roll those shoulders back. You made it through. Get some water. Good job, excellent cardio push. See you soon.